Okay, uh, I'm going to bring together a couple of things today. Uh, what we want to be able to do is construct a set of parallel lines. So you've been given a line and a point that you would like to draw the parallel line through. Now this is about construction, and it's constru uh, construction you can do with just a protractor and a straight edge, uh, compasses and straight edge. You don't need the protractor, um, although we can check it. So. The trick we're going to use is the corresponding or the copy and paste routine. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of an angle. Okay. We don't know what this angle is to start with though. So if I change the colour to pink and we'll put a line through, I want a line that goes through the point and through the line. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this angle up here at that point that we had. So to make a copy of them, what we're going to do is we're going to take our compasses, don't need to be quite as big, and we're going to change the colour to being orange. And what we do is we set our compasses so that we can actually create either an, a full arc or two cuts. So we could do a cut across that one, and the same thing across the other line. Or, and you make two arcs, or you can draw a full arc. At the other point, so we've got our point here, we can do the same thing, but we don't know where the line is. So what we can do is we can do an arc, and we can do another arc. So when the arc goes down here, make sure it goes far enough that we know this line is going to go through here. Now the trick with this is to realise, well, if I put my point here, I might be able to find an arc down the bottom here. So I put my point on this one, and I'll change the colour again. Let's make it red this time. And this time, I set my compasses so that they are the same I'll put it the opposite way. so that they are the same from one point to the other one now I don't need to make a mark I just need to set it we can drag that up to the top here put the point on and what we're doing is we're making a copy so if I do one here I do a little arc what we're doing is we're copying everything we're doing on the bottom one to the top one. So we made a copy of all of this construction up here. Now we've done that, I can put a line through that point. So that it goes through those two points. I'm going to use the straight edge tool we've got on this. So I've got a line that goes through there and keeps going. I've got to do the same thing down the other way. Just keep it going. And the way to check it is we can check the corresponding angles. Because that's exactly what we were doing just now. We were using corresponding angles. So if I take the line off, so I put trapped on one end, rotate. Remember the pink line was random, <coughs> and that's at 70, no, 60, 65, 66, just over 66 degrees. On this one, the line will keep going. To 60 something. Let's turn it over and look at the alternate then. Zero, zero along the little blue line. 1024 and 60, and we got 66 degrees again. So that's how you can construct a pair, a parallel line. So we've done perpendicular lines, we've now done parallel lines. Okay.